In this presentation, we will continue our discussion on string operators in Python. So, without any further delay, let's get started. In this presentation, we will discuss only one topic string comparison operators. We will try to understand what are string comparison operators in Python and we will discuss the different types of string comparison operators we have in Python. So, what are string comparison operators in Python? String comparison operators are used to compare two strings at a time. So, if we have a string comparison operator, it can compare two strings at a time. Because a string comparison operator is a binary operator. It needs two operands. Now, before discussing different types of string comparison operators, I want you to remember some points. So, following are the points you need to remember. The first point is comparisons are case sensitive in Python. For example, capital A is not same as small a. By comparisons, I mean the operands of the comparison operator. So, if we want to compare, let's say, capital A and small a, then we need to know this that capital A is not same as small a because comparisons are case sensitive. The second point is each character has an ASCII value and the ASCII values of the characters are compared. So, each character has a unique value called its ASCII value. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Each character has a unique value called its ASCII value and in reality, the ASCII values of the characters are compared, not the characters themselves. For example, ASCII value of capital A is 65 and ASCII value of small a is 97. In reality, these characters themselves are not compared, their ASCII values are compared. It is clear that 65 is less than 97, hence capital A is less than small a. These characters have unique codes which are called ASCII values. Capital A has an ASCII value 65 and small a has an ASCII value 97. Now the main question is, do we need to remember these ASCII values? The short answer to this question is no. You don't have to remember the ASCII values of each and every character in English. Instead, there are two things you need to remember. The first is that the uppercase letters always have ASCII values lesser than the lowercase letters. So, the ASCII values of uppercase letters are always less than the ASCII values of the lowercase letters. This is the reason why capital A is less than small a because the ASCII value of capital A is less than the ASCII value of small a. 65 is less than 97, hence capital A is less than small a. If we compare, let's say, capital Z with small a, the ASCII value of capital Z is less than the ASCII value of small a. So, capital Z is less than small a. So, this is one thing you need to remember. The second one is that ASCII values are incremental in nature. This means that if small a has an ASCII value 97, then it is guaranteed that small b will have an ASCII value 98. Small c will have an ASCII value 99 and so on. Similarly, if ASCII value of capital A is 65, then it is guaranteed that capital B will have an ASCII value 66, capital C will have an ASCII value 67 and so on. So, there is no need to remember ASCII values as we can observe this. Now, as we know these points, let's see all the different string comparison operators we have in Python. Let's move on and let's see our first operator, which is the double equal operator. Sometimes it is called equality operator. The equality operator or the double equal operator returns true if two strings are equal, else returns false. 
The quality operator is a binary operator. It is a string comparison operator. It is used to compare two strings. It returns true if two strings are equal, else returns false. For example, right now I am in my command prompt and I have already activated the Python interactive shell. You can do the same by typing Python and then by hitting enter. You will get these three arrows which indicates that Python interactive shell is now active. Now we are ready to type in the commands. Let's type print hello equal to hello. These two strings are exactly the same. Hence the equality operator will return true. If we hit enter, we will get true as a result. Now if we type print hello equal to hello. In this case, of course, we will get false as a result. Because we know this fact that comparisons are case sensitive. Capital H is not equal to small h. This is the reason why the equality operator is returning false. These two characters are not same. Even a single character is not same, then the two strings are not same. Hence, we will get false as a result. I hope this idea is clear. Let's move on to the second operator, which is the not equal operator. The not equal operator returns true if two strings are unequal, else returns false. Now, what does it mean? It is just opposite of the equality operator. It returns true if two strings are unequal. Otherwise, it returns false. For example, let's type print hello not equal to hello. Now, in this case, you can observe that these two strings are not equal because the first characters of these two strings are not equal. Hence, the not equal operator will return true. This is just opposite of what equality operator does. Now, if we type print hello not equal to hello, we will get false as a result because these two strings are exactly the same. So, we are done with this operator also. Let's move on to the third operator, which is the less than operator. The less than operator returns true if the first string is smaller than the second string, else it returns false. For example, if we type this command, print hello less than hello, then we will get true as a result because capital H is less than small h. This is true. The rest of the characters are same. The first character of this string is not same as the first character of this string. So, the result of this comparison totally depends upon the first characters of these strings. Capital H is less than small h. This is true because we know that the ASCII values of uppercase letters are always less than the ASCII values of lowercase letters. This is the reason why we are getting true as a result. Now, if we type this command print hello less than hello, then we will get true as a result because capital E is less than small e. Rest of the characters are same, but capital E is not same as small e. And we know that capital E is less than small e, hence we'll get true as a result. Now, what if we type print hello less than hello? In this case, the first characters of these two strings are not same. Small h is not less than capital H. Hence, we will get false as a result. I hope this idea is completely clear. Let's move on to the next operator, that is the fourth operator, which is the less than or equal to operator. The less than or equal to operator returns true if the first string is smaller or equal to the second string smaller or equal. Any of these conditions need to be satisfied. Else returns false. For example, if we type print hello less than hello, we will get false as a result. Why is that the case? These two strings are exactly the same. Hence, less than operator will return false. But what if we type print hello less than or equal to hello? we will get true as a result. Why is that the case? Because here we are checking two conditions, not just one. We are checking this. Is hello less than hello? 
नो हेलो इज नॉट लेस देन हेलो दिस स्ट्रिंग इज एक्सैक्टली द सेम एज दिस स्ट्रिंग हेन्स लेस देन कंडीशन इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड बट द इक्वालिटी कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड द सेकेंड कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड आई हैव रिटर्न और हेयर विच मीन्स दैट ईदर ऑफ दीज कंडीशन नीड टू बी सेटिस्फाइड इन ऑर्डर टू रिटर्न ट्रू हेयर दिस स्ट्रिंग इज सेम एज दिस स्ट्रिंग हेन्स वी विल गेट ट्रू एज अ रिजल्ट इन केस ऑफ लेस देन ऑपरेटर वी आर जस्ट चेकिंग वन कंडीशन इज दिस स्ट्रिंग लेस देन दिस स्ट्रिंग नो दिस स्ट्रिंग इज इक्वल टू दिस स्ट्रिंग दिस इज द रीजन वाई वी आर गेटिंग फॉल्स एज अ रिजल्ट हेयर we are getting true here because at least one condition is satisfied so we are done with this operator also that is the less than or equal to operator let's move on to the fifth operator which is the greater than operator greater than operator returns true if the first string is greater than the second string else it returns false greater than operator returns true if the first string is greater than the second string just opposite of what we have seen about less than operator for example if we type print hello greater than hello we will get false as a result because capital h is actually less than small h not greater than small h hence we'll get false as a result so i hope this is clear and if we let's say switch these two strings then in that case we will get true as a result now we are done with this operator also let's move on to the sixth operator which is the greater than or equal to operator the greater than or equal to operator returns true if the first string is greater or equal to the second string else returns false this is just opposite to less than or equal to operator for example if we type print hello greater than or equal to hello then we will get false as a result because neither of the condition is satisfied This string is not greater than this string because the first character of this string is less than the first character of this string. Capital H is less than small h. Also, these two strings are unequal, which means equality condition is also not satisfied. This is the reason why we are getting false as a result. So, we are done with total 6 comparison operators in Python. these were all the string comparison operators and this means we are done with this lecture we have understood what are string comparison operators and we have seen all the different types of string comparison operators we have in python okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i'll see you in the next one